Hi, this is Dr. John Paul Gallardo. Um, this morning we, we just completed a bilateral sinus lift case. So what that means is that the patient presented for implants but he had absolutely no bone in the upper jaw towards the back. And that's because his sinuses had actually dropped all the way down leaving us zero bone. So while I usually will explain the, the, the technique and the protocols and materials, what I really wanted to focus on today was what causes something like that to happen. So basically if a tooth is missing, and if it's a missing for an extended period of time, the bone tends to atrophy. And it's easy to notice that when it's on the bottom jaw or towards the front of the mouth, because the patient can actually see it. It's like a dent and the, the actual gum becomes more narrow, the bone becomes more narrow and it's easy to feel and sense. Now, when it happens because the sinuses are dropping, that's not that common. So, uh, or, or the, not that commonly uh, noticed. So what happens is that over time, you lose bone from the crest of the bone going up, and then at the same time, the sinus starts to drop down. And that's just because the bone is not being stimulated. Now, the only two things that can stimulate bone to stay where it is or actually become denser is either a natural tooth in healthy condition or a dental implant. So to prevent from getting to that point, even though we can fix it, I suggest if you're missing a tooth, get a consultation as soon as possible because the sooner you get an implant, the less complicated and the less expensive it's gonna be down the road.